All right. So today for our math lesson, unit 10, lesson 5. Rectangular arrays to represent sums of equal groups. This is like the second part to the lesson that we did yesterday. But we're not going to be um, talking about manipulatives anymore. We're going to get into learning how to draw and set up our own arrays given the information that we're given. Okay. So our objective today is I will find the total number of objects in a rectangular array by finding sums of equal groups. It's essentially just what multiplication is, is finding the total amount of objects by setting up your items in, um, in rows and columns, organizing them rows and columns um, to get that sum, okay, to get that uh, total amount, okay? So remember, arrays are an uh, arrangement of objects in rows and columns. So rows, I'm going to highlight in orange and down here too, row. I'm going to highlight columns in blue. Actually, I'm going to outline columns in blue. Okay. This is our array right here. Okay. Our objects are arranged in rows and columns. Remember that rows go from left to right, left to right. So here in this example, our rows go from left to right, so look like that, left to right, okay. Then our columns go from top to bottom or up and down, remember like uh, it's holding up a house, okay, so here are my columns. All right. So if you wanted to figure out how many rows there were, you would look at just where the highlighted orange is. So we have one row, two rows, and three rows. How many rows? Three. And columns. How many columns? One column, two columns, three columns, and four columns. Okay, so when they ask you to set up an array with four columns and three rows, your array is going to look like this because there are four columns and three rows that go left to right. Try color coordinating if it doesn't stand up to you easily. Okay, try um, color coordinating your, your vocabulary words and what is expected of you so that it, it can stand out a little bit easier to you. Okay, and this is always here for reference. So if you need to pause this video and copy how I highlighted it, then I would do so. Okay, all right. So for our steps, number one is draw an array with the information provided. So we're going to have a word problem, somewhat of a word problem. They're going to give us instructions, and we need to draw our array based on whatever they're asking us to do. Okay, number two says to count to find the missing information. Okay, so we're going to count... Um, whatever is missing. So if they give us how many columns and how many rows, we can figure out how many objects. Or vice versa, if, if they give us how many columns and how many objects, we want to figure out how many rows there are. All right, let's jump right into our input model. Okay, number one says, let's move the camera up a little bit. Crooked. There we go. Sorry, I try to get it as clear as possible for you guys so you're not struggling. All right. Number one says draw an array, an arrangement with three rows and two columns. Okay, so I know that rows go what? Left to right. And we highlighted rows with orange. So I'm going to take my orange. Okay, and I'm going to draw three rows. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm going to take my blue and draw in my columns. There are one, two. Okay, just like our array here, in each of the sections, there's an X. In, my, in this case, let's draw dots. 
So wherever the orange and the blue meet, you're going to have a dot. So here's one, two, three, one, two, and three. All right. So now that we have our array, we need to write a sum of equal groups. So what, what can we, what equations can we write? Let's look back yesterday at, I mean, to yesterday's lesson. We wrote a couple of options for our added, or our um, addition sentences, right? So we took however many columns we had and added them together, or we added how many items were in each row and added it together. So let's do that today. Here in our columns, we have three items, three and three. Or you can write your columns. How many are in your, each column? Two. All you have to do now is write your addition sentence. So you can either write three plus three, equals what? Six, good. Or you can write two plus two plus two equals six. And if you did it correctly, just like yesterday, your uh, sum would be the same. And is it? Yeah, it is. Good job. All right, let's go to number two. Number two says to draw an array with four columns and there are 20 total objects. Okay, this is a lot different than if they gave us the rows and columns. So let's see, with what, if, what information is given? If they give us columns and the total objects, what is missing? The number of rows, good. So using the information that we're given, we're going to fill in whatever our, our, our array. So how many columns do we have? Four. Good. So we're going to take our blue marker because that's what we're using. We're going to set up our house. One, two, three, four. Okay. And there are 20 total objects. So in here, this is these dots where the orange and the blue meet are our objects, and there were six objects total in this example. So here, there are 20 objects, so we need to fill them in. If I put all 20 in this one column, would it make sense? No, right? So we need to distribute them evenly. We're going to take our 20 and start to put our objects inside of our columns. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in each column until they all run out, and I'm going to keep counting. One, two, we need to get to 20 total objects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so now there are our 20 objects and I have my four columns. With this information now, I can figure out what my columns are. But from here, I can already do what they're asking me to do. They want me to write a sum of equal groups. So what kind of addition sentence can I write right here? What rep rep uh, repetition addition sentence can I, I write? Good. One, two, three, four, five. This column has five, and so does this one. This one does two, and this one. So we can write five plus five plus five plus five equals 20. Easy peasy. All right. So I want you guys to get your structured guided practice done, final check, and the student practice done. Okay, if you get done, um, early or get through it too fast, go ahead and get your, the challenge problems done. But for now, I just want you to work on structure guided practice, final check, and student practice, student practice pages on page 69 of your student workbook. Alright guys, get going.